I did a video a while back on how to make your own first aid kit where I had a lot of different items that I personally carry in like my watershed dry bag. But then I learned from that video, a lot of people just don't wanna make their own first aid kit. They don't wanna go through the time or energy of putting all that stuff together. So I looked around online to find something that you could just buy off the shelf and work just fine for your average kind of paddling trip. Say you're just nothing remote where you don't need to carry a lot of things with you, but just your average first aid kit. And what I'd come across was this Armed first aid kit. This is a 124 count first aid kit. I did have my own carabiner. So what I like about this one is it comes in a nice kind of ripstop nylon top bag, has a handle here, has these two mounting loops right here so you can kind of mount it on a wide variety of things. They're adjustable Velcro loops right there. It has a zipper pocket in the front. The bag's tough, but it's not waterproof. It's water resistant, but it's not waterproof. So keep that in mind. If you're gonna have it on the river in a kayak, you might wanna have it inside of a, a dry hatch or in some sort of watershed dry bag or something similar to that. And yeah, let's just go over the bag here real quick. It has this little first aid guide in it. This actually came with it that has like basic first aid instructions with it. You know, obviously I wouldn't, I recommend taking a first aid class, some sort of wilderness first aid and a CPR class. But, but this is kind of like quick, easy to understand instructions if you need it, which is nice that it has that in there. I just put it right here in the front right here and I just leave it in there. Let's go ahead and open it up and I'll show you guys kind of like all that you get with this. Zippers are pretty sturdy for $19. I mean, you can't go wrong. You want to be careful, open it up because it is packed tight in here right away you can see it has some cold compress this is the type where you you squeeze it you shake it up everything is labeled in here too so that was always a good plus it comes with these kind of ace bandage for sprains broken bones whatever dislocated shoulders too an ace bandage perfect for a dislocated shoulder you know these are the safety cutting scissors if you have to cut anything tweezers safety pins and it comes with a you know a whistle you know, we always like our whistles. Not very loud, but you know what? It's a whistle. The medical grade tape, nice to have that. You know, you kind of need tape. And this one right here, this is something that was really surprised me. Check this out. This has a C this is a CPR mask. Not many first aid kits include a CPR mask, which is crazy. I kind of went over this a little bit about um, doing CPR and what in all that foam and water, especially in a drowning victim, because you know, if, you, if you're gonna be using this in a kayak, I highly recommend a CPR mask to kind of lay out because you don't even wanna see when someone like has drowned and all the scum of the water and foam and, and all that's coming out. CPR mask is really good. I'm glad it includes that, which is unusual because not a lot of kits have a, a CPR mask. You know, some sort of cotton swab, Q-tips, big old roll of gauze. So that's enough gauze to kind of stop a major cut. They definitely gave you enough of these things. These are the non-stick adhesive pads. They're like big, huge band-aids for a big gaping wound. If you have a big cut, you can really kind of seal it up with that or put gauze and all that on top of it. Lots of band-aids. You gotta love your band-aids. They give you a ton of band-aids in this and that was always good because band-aids is something where, you know, blisters, small cuts, whatever, you're gonna need that. Another thing you got a lot of, and that's alcohol wipe. These alcohol pads, cleansing wipes, you can see there's a lot of these in this pack. More gauze, so this is just kind of like the small like gauze that you would use to kind of put on, on, a, on a wound and then tape it up. So there is still room in this case where you could actually put more items and build up an even more robust kit if you really wanted to. But really, just how it is right here is enough for your average day paddling, backpacking, mountain biking, whatever. Have this down in your backpack or have it inside of a dry bag inside your kayak because I highly recommend having some sort of first aid kit on you at all times. So that's all I got today, guys. I didn't wanna go into a, a big kind of like video on how all this stuff works. I might cover that in another video. I'll leave links below where you can pick up one of these if you're interested, you wanted a quick kit, you want it to be small and light for backpacking, kayaking, fishing, any type of outdoor activity. I recommend the Armad first aid kit and I have this in my car. I have it with me at all times. So yeah, let's get out on the water and hopefully I won't be using the kit on you, yeah.